it's like it's like when I find that person that that is is right for me and is he'll be wonderful. And when I look at that person, I'm not even going to be able to remember the boy who broke up with me over the phone in 25 seconds when I was 18. <laughs>
It's good. Okay, the music is less scary now. Everybody is waiting. I think for me, I, I, I answer too many questions starting with, I think for me, um, and it's been pointed out to me lately, and I need to work on it, so I'm going to start that over. <laughs> so, when are we going to hear new music? I think... <laughs> I think for me, um, I think for me, um, um, I think for me, I think for me, um, I think for me, um, I think for me, uh, do you know what a sea urchin is? Do you know what they are? If they're, you knew what sea urchins were, you would be terrified. Well, listen, they're just these, they're in the, they're on rocks and they're spiny looking, there. And the poor things are just minding their own business. No, they're not. They're not. That's the thing. They're just, they're like, they're like a grenade. They're like, they're, they're sitting there waiting to completely injure you to the point where, okay, so you step, you can't see a sea urchin if you're, okay, like if you're in the Caribbean. You're like, this water is so beautiful, it's amazing. And you're walking, it's clear water. You can't see a sea urchins right there, and then you step on one, and then it has barbs, and it goes into whatever it touches, and then you have to go to the emergency room, and it has to be surgically removed. You could lose your foot, you could lose your hand, you could lose your hand trying to get it off of your foot. <laughs> so I don't like sea, sea urchins. Listen. Didn't you invite a load of people to your house? fans to your house. I heard yeah. that on the radio yesterday. Or the I would go online, I would look at their Instagram pages or their Tumblr or their Twitter or whatever and, um, and just kind of watch them for months and months. <laughs> and, that's how, and then I invited them over and... They came. And they came and there have been like, there have been, uh, we've had them at every one of my houses and... Um, this is sweet, right? So the fans, because the fans who go to do it, they then of course want to blog about it because they've had this amazing experience. Of course, of course. But when they blog about it, it's borderline confusing on whether they had a good time or not. <laughs> so uh, here are some of the blog things. So we were asked to go to the living room, sit down, not know how much I was sweating during that moment. I was like, the fuck is gonna happen? <laughs> My poor heart could not keep up, then all of a sudden she just popped up out of nowhere. She appeared out of thin air like David Copperfield, and we all died, like for real. <laughs> because they always talk about dying. dying. Yes, I died. They're like, rest in peace me, RIP me. <laughs> I died dead. <laughs> so you shake it off and you shake your booty. Yeah. You can shake really any, just there's anything. <laughs> there's so many things. Hair, <sighs> hands, hips, ankles. <laughs> when I, I One funny thing that happened, and tell me, uh, I, I heard this happen, and it sounded like a joke to me, but in Canada, uh, I think two days ago, they put your song up on iTunes. It instantly went to number one. It was the third track of the song. But then what was the track that everybody heard? It was a mistake. <laughs> and it wasn't a song that they ended up posting. They ended up posting seven seconds of static noise. And it and went so to number it one. it went number one. And I was like, what is going on? <laughs> well, it just goes to show you, you really don't need to work that hard on this stuff, <laughs> you know? <laughs> yes, I've been really overthinking this entire really thing. Have. I've been really trying too hard, clearly. Like the Beatles' White Album, this is your take on that. It's just white, white noise, noise that you put out. Um, usually, well, I actually call her um, a, a name that doesn't really make any sense, but uh, we, her name is um, in the house, it's Dibbles. <laughs> because it suits her personality more I than see. Olivia. But she's like a she's like a scrappy little cat. Uh -huh. So her name is like Olivia, but it's like her personality is more like, hey guys, it's Dibbles. <laughs> hey. Um, in the last couple of years, the media have had a really wonderful fixation on kind of painting me as like the psycho serial dater girl. 
It's been awesome. I've loved it. <laughs> and they're like, you know, it was, it got pretty out of control there for a couple of years because it would be like, every article was like, Taylor Swift standing near some guy. Watch out, guy. <laughs> and I have this scar on my leg, and it's, it's a very prominent scar that I've had for probably since I was 10 or 11. And everybody always asked me about it. When I was 10, I would sit up in my attic and make castles out of popsicle sticks, and I used a super industrial strength hot glue gun because I was really serious about it. And I was creating a slide, and I was just like, glue, 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 glue. And then suddenly, I was gluing off the table, and a big glob of just like hot, hot glue was just there. And I was like, oh, and your first instinct is to go, oh, I'll just pull that off. And then, you know, you pull off 17 layers of skin with it. Oh, my god. Back over 2014, what was the high point? What is that even? Is it a spaceship? Nobody cares that I want to get home to see my cats and watch Friends. Uh, can you show me a really cool or bizarre talent? Okay, I'm well aware that this is not a talent, but this is like the only thing that I can do. I have um, double jointed elbows, so. No. Oh man. Yeah, they're weird. <laughs> they're a little bit weird. Yeah. What's, what's something you can't do? I can't do a cartwheel or a handstand. The song All You Had to Do Was Stay, there's this really high pitched, stay. I had a dream that my ex showed up at my door, knocked on the door, and I opened it up and I was about ready to launch into like the perfect thing to say. And instead, all that would come out of my mouth was that high pitched chorus of people singing, stay. That is like, all you had to do was stay. Sorry about it. I don't miss you. And now you're back. You're on the cover of Entertainment Weekly, and you oh, have yeah. all these Easter eggs on here, right? Yeah, yeah, and I feel like... Explain what the eggs are to people who don't understand. Yeah, because I, I think that is necessary. So it's like, when we say Easter eggs, we're not only talking about, like, Easter eggs that you would go on an Easter egg hunt for on Easter. It's like, it's kind of a, like a, it's kind of like a clue, like a foreshadowing kind of thing. I like to plant Easter eggs in a video like that will be like a lyric from unreleased music or like a little hint or a little wink to what's coming in the future. Right. Um, so yeah, like that was kind of the theme of what we did the Entertainment Weekly thing on. And it's just been really fun to kind of expand the musical experience past just listening to a song. Like I also want people to be like watching the music video and what's that thing in the background and what's that song playing underneath there and what's, what's, is there a reason she said that in French? So. Right. Because people, <laughs> and, and usually your fans are pretty good at figuring it out, right? They're excellent at figuring what it out. What is the worst, what, what, how far off have they been? What's the worst they've been? Oh man. Um, well, there were some fans that thought I had something to do with Avengers Endgame. Oh, really? <laughs> which I would, which I would have loved to have been asked, but, but I wasn't. No, you weren't. Asked to be in it at all. Yeah. Because we had the single coming out the same day, and I have a song that was called Endgame, and so they were like, oh my god, she's gonna defeat Thanos, and... <laughs> right. I let everyone down. Yeah, yeah. Again. That's, well...